So today we're out here mapping a roadway intersection, a uh, couple hundred feet in each direction from the intersection. That ends up being like a three acre area. Um, and uh, I got some pretty cool equipment I'll show you. Uh, this morning when I woke up, it was negative five Fahrenheit. All right, so I almost feel like I'm uh, cheating here with this one today. So what we're doing is we're scanning and this machine here, you can see it going up and down and it's gonna go all the way around in a circle and it's going to basically scan the whole intersection. And so the data is getting stored on this collector here. Um, the screen doesn't really do that in person. It's just the type of screen, but so you can see it's already stored over a million data points. What it's doing is it's making what we call a point cloud. And then we use some uh, high-end software to extract the mapping data out of the point cloud. So um, we're going to do about four scans today. And uh, you can combine all the scans to make one giant point cloud. And when it's all done, I'll show you what it looks like in the office. One of the main reasons we like to use this scanner is because I just watched somebody drive straight through that red light. Bright red, wasn't even yellow. So it makes it a lot safer to be able to just scan the road and not have to walk out in it. So these prisms are pretty cool. The laser that the total station emits to measure distances bounces off this uh, prism and then gets sent back to the total station. That's how it measures distance. And it's cool because no matter where you look, it's always centered. I don't know if you can see the lens on my camera. No matter where you look, the lens is always in the center of the prism. All right, so probably my favorite part about this instrument is that it's all touch screen based. So there's a really good camera in the instrument. And I'm, so the instrument's over there. I'm here and it's like a live video feed of myself and I can see that the crosshairs no target car drove by so like it, it got off of me so all I do is I click on myself it turns target locked and it automatically locks. No it's target. amazing. So as you can see, you can zoom way in. And it's locked right in that prism I was telling you about. Pretty darn cool. So anyways, I can hit measure. It takes a shot and it tells me my difference. No target. Horizontally, 100, target. vertically. Five thousands, pretty good. And then I can hit no target. store. Target Technology is crazy. Base. All right, so I'm gonna scan myself. Just click and draw a polygon around my body. And uh, it's gonna take 23 seconds. And I'm going to hit start, and it should uh, scan me. All right, guys. So I'm here uh, editing this video, and uh, let me put it here on the table. And I was going to kind of show you uh, what, the, what the data looks like once I get it into the computer. So um, I'm at home today. Normally I work in the office, but we had a bunch of snow, and I'm doing office work anyway, so I'm kind of here in my little... Uh, makeshift bedroom office thing and uh, anyways I'll, I'll show you what the data looks like uh, here's the uh, software here's what the software looks like um, here let me just do something here boom this is what the point cloud looks like um, it's kind of black and white because um, it's intensity so harder things like the road surface come back lighter color 
softer things like the grass in this instance in, in this instance it's snow actually come back as like a a darker color so yeah uh, you can see we had like where this dark circle is is where I was standing when I had the total station set up um, when I was filming it and then I also have a spot over here where I scanned from and I also have a spot over here where I scanned from um, so if you zoom in way close you can see um, this is not an image this is, these are actually like data points I will zoom way in to show you these are individual data points um, this is called a point cloud is what we call it um, but you can see like the level of detail you can see the sidewalk all the cracks um, you can see all like the lane joints on the road you can see manholes really good um, it's like there's a manhole here that you can see pretty good you can get elevations and all that stuff um, you can see building faces um, it's actually kind of cool I can take a cross section here of this building like this and then over on this screen it pops up um, and you can see the actual building that got located any of the cars that were in the way when I scanned those all get picked up and then I can do something else that's cool I can come in here and I can clip out I can whatever is in this purple pink kind of area I can uh, clip that out and then it it allows me to just see this building um, the data points that were on this building just within that area and then I can take and trace the building lines and um, get the location of the building and all that stuff to put into the drawing um, or uh, you know there's a million different things you can do um, you can take it's just kinda neat to go in here and take cross sections and look at everything um, but like there's a utility pole that it scanned uh, you can see how all the wires you can crop out everything except like the overhead wires see how they all connect so I mean it's pretty sweet um, it saves time in the field you basically just stand there and let it scan uh, it collects everything that you could ever imagine and then the problem is it takes more office time to basically process it so you know it may take a few days to go through and actually process all the field work to where you know the field work itself might only take half a day so in the past it used to be that you'd go out and spend you know two days in the field mapping everything and you come back in the office and draw it all up um, you know it was kinda like 50 50 office time versus field time now it's like you know quarter or half a day in the field I mean you still gotta do other stuff you gotta locate some utilities you gotta set all your control I mean you still gotta do stuff in the field but like mapping wise for like the road service you don't gotta go on the road you don't gotta you know play in traffic and you know it saves a whole lot of time mapping it's basically it's safer and it's more convenient it's not necessarily time saving because it, it takes a lot of time uh, to process this stuff but anyways I just kinda wanna show you around um, I'll show you that scan that I did of myself since that's the last thing you saw from the field work um, so this is the top of me I was standing right here so I can take a cross section like this and then on the right screen here you can see me standing there where it scanned me the snow surface right here you can see that line that it picked up um, I mean tons of detail and you zoom in and this is these are just all data points so um, kind of neat stuff um, you can see I've already extracted um, some lines on the road surface I'll do a cross section of the road here so you can see um, if I do a cross section like this about five foot wide you can see I picked up some noise here I can actually get rid of those cars and have it just show the road but you can kind of see where the crown is on the road um, and you can just see you know the curb on both sides and um, I will hide the point cloud here um, I'll hide the point cloud and you can see this is what I've extracted so far all these trees buildings um, all the lane lines and uh, like the sidewalk here the rest of it was snow covered so we did have to map some by hand but we didn't we didn't want to go out in the road and that's the main reason we scanned so um, I'll turn this back on 
and I'll do like a 3D just kind of show you what it looks like in 3D so I can go like this and rotate and you can see how everything's like it's like a 3D model I can pan around um, I can classify just the ground by itself and basically get rid of all the noise like the buildings the trees the people the cars I can have it just show the ground um, it's pretty powerful software I'll actually do that right now all I gotta do is just hit process there's all these settings and stuff that I could change but this is just for uh, demonstration purposes um, so I can go in here visibility turn everything off except the ground and then you can see it's a lot cleaner looking and if I go like this all you can see now is the ground I can do it the other way around I can turn off everything except like high vegetation which it it's I don't have any settings in to make it um, recognize vegetation versus like man-made structures but you can see now how the all the lines connect and everything and it's just pretty neat software I just thought I'd uh, kind of show it off a little bit it's cool stuff it's pretty useful for a lot of different things but anyways I think I'm gonna end it here um, basically you just take all these lines that I made in this software and I can bring it into my other CAD programs and do the you know final drawing so uh, just a little demonstration thought it was kind of a cool piece of equipment that I wanted to show off and uh, that's basically it so um, anyways that's the end of the video thanks for watching boom